Welcome. In today's video, I'll quickly show you how to access and use the new Bobcat Diagnoser tool. The first step is to identify your IP address for your miner. You can do this by going to the Helium Hotspot app. In the app, select your miner. Then click on the settings icon. Before clicking on pair, press and hold the Bluetooth button on the back of your miner till the light turns blue. Your Bluetooth will now have been activated. Select pair, then select your miner. If you click on the Diagnostics tab, you'll be able to identify the miner IP address. Keep a note of this so you don't have to repeat these steps again. Copy and paste your IP address into the internet browser and you will now have access to the dashboard. I covered a few of these tools in my last video, however I will go through them in a bit more detail. Temperature tab. Depending on the colour of the tab, it will identify the Bobcat's heat condition. White equals normal condition under 65 degrees Celsius. Yellow equals above normal condition between 65 and 70 degrees Celsius. Red equals very hot, above 70 degrees Celsius. If the Bobcat is above normal temperature conditions, you should react to cool the miner down by sheltering the miner or switching its position to avoid direct sunlight. These alerts are great to help us identify and monitor any heat issues in advance. 5S Miner Slowdown To ensure your miner is up to date and sync into the blockchain, this tab provides us the latest details which you can feed back to Bobcat if necessary. When you select the tab, give it a minimum of 5 seconds to load. The good thing is you don't have to manually update your firmware, it is all automated. However, if you face any issue you could use this tool to check that the miner is running correctly. You can do this by 1. Checking if the OTA version matches the latest provided on Bobcat's OTA page. Number 2. Identify the syncing status of your miner by cross-checking the height number on the right matches the block height number. Number 3. The NAT type should show as none if the miner is not relayed. If it is relayed, it will appear as it does on the screen. To fix the relay or any further issues, click on the Troubleshooting tab, which will redirect you to a community resource page. Here you can find step-by-step -step information to guide you further. The next three tabs are shortcut links to view your miner on the Helium Explorer map, the DY onboarding API information and the Helium API page for your hotspot. You won't need to check the DY or API information on a regular basis. You will only require to provide this info if asked by Bobcat. Chain height. This is the true blockchain height number. A blockchain height number continuously increases as information is transmitted across the network. If it is stuck and not increasing, you should report this back to Bobcat as this will mean your miner is not transferring information, which can lead to reduced HNT rewards. Net speed. You can test both upload and download speed using this tab. When clicking on the tab, give it a minimum of 30 seconds to load the data. If the upload and download speed is at zero, this will help you identify that there is an issue with your internet connection, which you can then try to resolve. If there is any further info required, I have provided the links in the description below. If you found this video useful and informative, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.